What's up guys, Studfit here, joined by Antla for another episode of The Rundown, this time in the No DK Alt Tour, I mean the uh, Autumn Tour, I mean the Animal Tour. Welcome to uh, Antilev, well, Anibal, how are you doing, man? I'm, I'm doing good, I'm doing good. It's good to be here. This is actually, awesome tour. this is a just a, just a, a big positive tour. I think everyone, uh, no matter what you like about the game, is really enjoying this tour. We got fun new items, we got fun new tracks. That whatever a filler tour is, I know we're, we're we're kind of shunning that word, but this is the opposite of that. Even without like a D, even without the DK alt that we all were looking for, this is an awesome tour. We're all having a, a blast, just uh, <laughs> doing a lot of new things, including uh, Antilev. You're uh, kind of doing a little, little soft push for top ten. How's how's the experience been going over the last four and a half days? Um, well, I, I've been incredibly busy with real life stuff, so I haven't had the amount of time I wanted to. Um, things are gonna things are gonna be like slowing down for me a little bit uh, this week coming up, so I'll have more time for it. But yeah, I've made my investments, and uh, it's looking like a really really good tour. Um, the, the, the problem is like a lot of people are going for top ten this tour. I feel like or like ECR in general because it's just it like the track selection is amazing. It's it's I don't think there's one track on on the whole list where I'm like mm, I don't like that you know sometimes you get like a yeah. cheap sheep lagoon or a wario shipyard or like oh do i have to do that one uh, and here everything is just fantastic so even like even baby park is is awesome <laughs> if you're a boomerang driver you know yeah yeah no um we'll talk a lot about uh the all cup ranking and and what's so, so fun about this tour but just got right off the bat um one of the reasons i'm like i actually uh, uh, think this is an awesome tour for a lot of players to go for Top 100, top 1,000, top 10, even in some situations, um, is when because of the, all the free tracks. I call I call tracks that give you free free um, free actions as free tracks, meaning that uh, there's a bonus uh, points that stop right at 200. So there's very there's a, a point of diminishing return that drastically drops between um, action count 200 and action count. 205, 210, 220, whatever it might be. So a lot of these tracks you can see like. Uh, there's Yoshi Valley T where it's like the the ceiling for action counts is 240 actions. You can stop yeah. right at 200 actions on that track, and the difference between 200 and 240, obviously, because uh, it depends on your loadout, it might be 800 points. So it's not worth you grinding the extra time on this. So a lot of times you can get a better run because you're given 40 free actions or 10 free actions. I counted it all up. There are 24 of the 45 tracks that uh, are over 205 actions from the ceiling so that's 24 tracks where you might have to you might not have to spend as much time because you're given these free actions so there you go um just to spice things up to get you excited about the episode a lot to get into though um including all cup ranking because i know this is a fun tour for a lot of people to do that talking about fun uh things for people to do i just have so many people to thank everyone on this list um Especially just the fans who uh, were patient. Um, we're recording this early, early on Sunday morning, and uh, everyone's had to wait an extra day to get access to the rundown. So thank you very much for your patience. Um, a lot of this, to, uh, as always, is a product, a byproduct of the work that Larry98 does, as well as also uh, the top 10 and everything that Antelev does behind the scenes. So huge shout out to both of you. Um, everyone else, you see little mods around uh, people who are helping us keep the channel um in tip-top shape you also see a couple of names uh, highlighted in blue raz won our uh, member multiplayer contest last tour and also crazy is our current uh a action count competition king uh for this tour based on his uh i think it was uh, 213 actions or so um last tour on, on our all cup rank uh, on our action count track so um a couple people i wanted to shout out there but really everyone on this list is uh i i only <laughs> the reason i'm waking up on a sunday morning uh connected with aids live uh across the pond uh is because of the members i really um you guys keep this going i i had people reaching out saying hey by the way hadn't seen anything on the rundown like can you please tell me it's coming so uh thank you very much for your patience and uh just huge shout out to everyone here um right off the bat we got a brand new driver not the tanuki but the uh, kitsune um which is uh based on some of the past mario games uh, there is no tanuki luigi when he uh, luigi gets the tanuki leaf he it becomes the uh, kitsune um just right off the bat you know we weren't too impressed with the leaf the super leaf skill just kind of looking at his uh initial tracks you know, again i don't i don't really I haven't really heard anyone that's uh purchased him 
and taking them all the way up. Uh, what's interesting this tour is we have you know the spotlights from week two now available in week one, so you might have uh, gotten access to them. I hadn't heard anyone leveling them up, but for what it's worth, we got some starting coverage here with some coin box drivers, with some boomerang drivers. Um, I would say just kind of wanted to point this out out of his, uh, what is it, 10 tracks here. Um, he has three that were released this tour. Just kind of wanted to throw that in there. Uh, meaning that uh, Dino Dino Jungle, um, some of the, uh, he's got Bowser's Castle 1T. I guess some of these are new, but uh, Dino Dino Jungle, Rock. if anyone gets any Rock Rock Mountain, I just want to kind of keep those separate. But there are some really good tracks in general for anyone who is new. Any, any new item this tour is getting pretty good coverage unless you're getting Dino Dino Jungle or Rock Rock Mountain or Choc Choco Mountain because a lot of these things like Baby Park are great. Some of the ba Bowser's Castle that we saw the remix and uh, like those are pretty good tracks to have. Even Sky Garden. These are uh, what we considered really good tracks because they were released this year. But Ansel, what's your thoughts on Kintsune? Yeah, I mean, so I was kind of hoping he would have actually a plus skill just because I I, I like his costume and uh, thought it'd be fun. You know, he's got the super leaf, so it's not. We all know about the super leaf. Even though they buffed it with the last big update, it's still like a bigger radius for sucking up coins. It's not. It's still not competitive with the top four skills. Um, and he's got some. So basically, when we look at the buffs this tour, we're going to be looking at um, did it get some of the new tracks introduced this tour did it get some 2022 tracks or did it get um stuck with some of the old tracks the four courses we have in this tour that are older returning tracks are rock rock mountain yoshi circuit uh dino dino jungle choco mountain so we will value those a little bit less even though yoshi circuit i think it has appeared five times uh, this year which is uh, yeah no i mean it, it, there's no rhyme or reason to it it's just it, you know but it, we still consider it an older track and, and less valuable um so he doesn't have too many of those older ones i think he has only um you know, three of those in his two, two dino dino jungles and um yeah so uh, no two two only actually so two dino dino jungles and then the rest are, are new or newer tracks yeah. but that's not bad starting value not 10 bad. tracks and he's got five tracks for his only one or two plus skill drivers so i mean for a non-plus skill his, his start is actually rather impressive i would say i would agree with that there um a lot of these are pulled screenshots uh, from larry 98 spreadsheet so uh definitely you see the little logo there uh huge shout out to larry 98 and the extra work that we've put up through this this tour um but definitely check it out we have a link in the description if you want to find out more um as for the other new driver moo moo me uh i just i don't know why but i feel like saying them like all together like moo moo me just just real quick it's a lot more fun um but we have here a total of uh seven tracks two of which were released this tour um, some plus some plus skills, but I think with uh, getting this mushroom cannon, not as exciting. Obviously, it's nothing that you're doing with right now because you have to earn the the, the mumumi. But what's your thoughts on mumumi? Yeah, I mean, um, you know, a couple a couple of the, like, the start is not bad again for me, but really we're not looking at these um, because of this, the low starting number of uh, tracks. You mostly are looking to acquire it for the base points uh, for your me boost and. Um, it's not a plus skill so yeah i like we just have to wait and see on this one but we got two older tracks and five newer tracks including um two of the brand new tracks so not, like not a bad mix of um uh, starting tracks but yeah we have to wait and see on it there are a lot of good me's to invest in i would not want i would not put this on the top of the list no uh moving to carts uh and talking about things worth the investment uh that is mumu related this mumu offloader a uh definitely a strong candidate if you would like to level it up obviously an item that we can uh get to level three for twelve dollars it's not uh something to, to to scoff at um honestly i think just in general that's a great value uh to, for a large heart hitbox in the game you know when it comes to hitbox we always prioritize again this is probably more for the newer players we always prioritize the hitbox uh think about it like you know a, a 3d square of, of you know what's going to pick up a coin especially in paired with a coin box driver um having large hitboxes are the best way to do that there are really three like massive uh off-roader being the very very largest cart in the game uh, not too far off is the Vampire Flyer and the what the Combo Cruiser. So those are kind of like the the dons, like the literally the top items in the game when it comes to that hitbox. Now obviously this <laughs> this year we've seen the Red Off Rotor and now this Moo Moo Off Rotor, uh, and, and you know honestly some of its coverage has some overlap with each other, which is just kind of something you have to deal with. But overall, anytime you have this is like you know 
it's not necessarily like getting the me base points, but it's like having, you know, a, a, a nice um, larger size hitbox, like the, the heavy uh, coin box drivers, you know, things like Charging Chuck and, and how PD um, Gold are going to uh, be a lot bigger than say uh, Mario Tuxedo or some of the medium size hitbox. So again, a great cart from just the size when we look at its value uh, it has three tracks that were released this tour it does have a uh, Chaco Mountain a, a Yoshi Circuit R um, Ch Chaco Mountain R uh, but overall and, and then Yoshi Valley R um, everything else though relatively pretty good value what are your thoughts Santa Love on the Mumu offer yeah so I uh, am proud owner of a level 8 and 805 base points Mumu off-roader um, that's the that's main dopey. investment I made my cards for uh, my uh, ACR push um, has a really good start 10 tracks and has 4 older ones uh, 2 Chaco Mountains and 2 Yoshi Circuits um, but the rest are um, 2022 tracks it's got um, all 3 of the normal variants of Riverside Park um, it doesn't have the RT but it you know I know you like to have um mm -hmm the set items which cover like a like a set like well like a whole course you know um, check all, that all box. three variants yeah. so that's that's really nice for that so you're basically covered with riverside, riverside park except the rt and then it's got two mushroom gorgeous and any yoshi valley so like i think out, out of the cards it's got the best starting value and also with a huge hitbox i, I would it, it debuted at i think 43 on the on the top 10 uh, rankings which is an extremely wow. high uh, ranking for a new item that's yeah huge. that's that's really high yeah, yeah. And, um, I mean, you see it sometimes with, with a coin box driver or something because of the scale, but with a cart, it, it's very rare that it something just comes out so high. Yeah, because we have so many carts, uh, sometimes things fluctuate a little bit more than some of the other categories. But that's, I mean, to, to have a brand new cart at that high, that's that's phenomenal. And, you know, uh, we're still kind of figuring out where uh, Nintendo seems to kind of stack rank things. Yeah. Like, um, commemorative items used to not be that great uh, in the past life, but we're, right now, we're at a point where we don't get things from packs. We don't get things from, you know, uh, thrown into the tier shop. We don't have things thrown into the premium challenge. We just have, you know, pipes uh, in those cases. So, you know, it, it, there might be a case where now the commemorative item, because it's the only thing, you know, uh, ex in exchange for just straight currency, might be like the best item. It wasn't in the past. It could be now. I don't know. Um, there's still like ranked reward right up there where they want us to go salivate uh gold pass items too. gold pass items up there too so those are really kind of the top three items in the game that we can that we can kind of uh hold yeah. a little higher than others but i don't know you know which one is the very highest already right off the bat though i mean i i think you have to you can't i mean i i think you should be proud of an investment like that Ansel. that's 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 pretty awesome, especially well, knowing that say for four euro, four dollar, it's it's worth if you if you are the type of person who doesn't who is like gold pass only or is an heavy spender, it's it's one of the items uh, I would consider picking up. I think it's worth it. Um, also, looking at the overlap, it doesn't have a lot of overlap with any meta. I mean, it's got four overlaps with Warrior Wagon and four overlaps with Cactar, um, the black disc. But other than that. Um, it, Black. Oh no, that's Cacti B. Cacti R is the red one, sorry. So it's even old, so a couple of older ones, but it doesn't have uh, really much overlap with any other big meta cards. Um, so so that that's also really nice. Yeah, I think some of those were from the Mushroom Gorge. Uh, Cacti is all over that. That's, uh, yep. that's yep. one in my mind. I've kind of checked that box. If that's what it owns. So let's go to the canu uh, Camo Tanuki card. Uh, looks beautiful, obviously. I, I, the Tanuki card itself already looked pretty cool the camo i actually like the, the original better than the camo i'm not a big I'm, I'm the same i'm not a big camo guy i don't like i don't know i'm i'm more of a city guy i don't, I don't like i don't really like camo here in the united states camo has got its own i don't know it's it's, it's, it's own culture it's no yeah it's like what you wear to wawa like i don't i don't i wouldn't wear camo like as like a part of my i don't even know if i own any camo i'm just not a camo fan but it still looks pretty cool. Just the fact that it, it's kind of got the outdoorsy. I'm calling it the tactical nuke. Tactical, tactical nuke. nuke. <laughs> All right. Whatever you want to call it. it yeah. tactical. I mean, it does look very tactical. It does look very, like, outdoorsy. Very rugged yeah. for what it's worth. But, yeah. Um, right off the bat, it's uh, starting with nine tracks here. Three of which were released this tour. It does have uh, some Rock Rock Mountains in there. But, uh, Ansel, what's your thoughts on the, the Tanuki cart? Well, I, I, you know, I love Tanuki card. I have the original Tanuki card um, at level eight, triple capped. Um, it was uh, one of the first uh, cards I triple capped. Um, Which, by the uh, way, I'll, I'll talk about this maybe a little later. I, I took mine to that level too. So uh, I'm with you. Right on. I, I like the Tanuki card. I'm, I'm a big fan of the Tanuki card. So go ahead. And I actually think this one looks really cool as well. Um, I, I actually like the, the camouflage. Um, 
I, I mean, obviously, I don't have the same association with it that you maybe have. So, so I just think it looks really great on uh, its own. Um, the start, however, is a little bit disappointing. Um, it's got nine tracks, but only three of them are our 2022 tracks. So they're actually they're all three against three variants of DK Mountain, but all of its other tracks are are older. Um, I'm oh, sorry, it's got four four newer tracks. So all th three DK Mountains and the Yoshi Valley are, but then five tracks are two Chalka Mountains, the Dino Dino Jungle, and uh, two Rock Rock Mountains. So so the majority of tracks are, are, are very old tracks. Um, so not the greatest starting value, I would say. Um, you know, and for uh, overlaps, um, it's got four overlaps with the Rambi Runner, and mm. um, that's yeah. And other than that, not too much. Um, but a lot of people I know have Rambi Runner at a high level, so that that's kind of worrying as well. Yeah, a lot of people that want to invest in you know DK stuff, a lot of the DK stuff have kind of overlapped with each other, unfortunately. Yeah. But it is. I mean, that's that's to be expected. Let's get into the Gold Rambi Runner Rider. Uh, I keep I keep wanting to say Runner, but uh, Gold Rambi Rider. So it's a uh, gold alt of not the Runner, but of the original Super, which we now have access to those who have Gold Pass. But tell us a little bit about the Gold Rambi Rider. Um, so it's only starting with eight tracks, which is the lowest I think a new non me item can start with. <clears throat> it's already not the greatest because um, in a tour like this, you want to have a lot of tracks. If it's a city tour, you would wouldn't mind if we'd get less tracks. Um, and yeah, only three newer tracks. It's got DK Mountain T, Riverside Park T, the two new tracks, and then Baby Park N. And the rest of its tracks are all older tracks. Uh, two Rocker Clowns, two Dino Dino Jungles, and a Chocolate Mountain RT. So I would say out of the three cards, probably the worst uh, starting value, weakest to start. It's got four overlaps with Rambi Runner and four overlaps with Camo Tanuki Kart. It also has three overlaps with the Grey Cat Cruiser. Um, so again, not uh, it's a little bit worrying. Um, I think between this one and the Camo, I prefer that one, but uh, I would rank the three cards this tour. Mumu Off-Roader, then Camo a little bit lower, and then uh, the Gold Rambi Runner a little bit lower than that. Rambi Rider, sorry. So in the order that you've seen them here, uh, I agree with yeah. that as well. As for new gliders, we got this Autumn Leaves uh, track um, you know, sorry, new glider with uh, ten tracks, three of which were released as tour. What's your thoughts on the autumn leaves with the new animation? Um, yeah, not not too bad actually. It's got uh, ten starting tracks, um, and four of them are older, and then six of them are newer tracks, including um, a DK Mountain and two a Riverside Park. So, like, I was a pretty strong uh, starting value. Um, I, I like the look of them as well. It looks great. Um, it does have three overlaps with the Wonderful Wings uh, and three overlaps with the Meteor Balloons. So, so if you've got a high level Wonderful Wings, it might be uh, uh, a little bit worrisome there, but uh, nothing too huge in terms of overlap. Having three, uh, three isn't a lot necessarily. No, and Wonderful Wings has a lot of tracks, so it kind of overlaps with everything. Yeah. I'm with you there. And then we have the, um, sorry, the, uh, this is the Calico Toe Beam Balloons. Uh, tell us a little bit about that track with 10 new tracks, 10 of which were released this tour. A really strong start because uh, only three older tracks, two Chalco Mountains and Yoshi Circuit RT. But if you look at the rest, it's got two RMX Bowser's Castle, two of the Riverside Parks, the new ones. It's got two Sky Gardens and it's got Baby Park R. So so a really strong start. This looks like a great glider um, to start out with. Um, overlaps, it's got three with the Black Star Shoot, um, three with the Pink Gold Meteors, three with the Red and Gold Umbrella back from the Bangkok Tour. Um, other than that, not, not <laughs> much a worrying overlap. So, uh, so I would say a really strong start and a really promising glider. Nice, man. Well, good. That's uh, that wraps up our new items. Hopefully, that helps you as you're starting to decide what to get. Um, obviously, you know, you kind of starting to see the access to the newer items that will be a part of week two that will be at a higher rate. We did get um, as we're moving into the spotlight shop, and we'll we'll get a little discussion here. Um, credit to Sam Seven Eight IT. Um, I did a brief video talking a little about uh, some of these. I will say I, I made a couple changes to where based on the top 10 and some other thought processes, I really wanted to get the, the, get you guys access to this as quick as possible. So I think it was like 9 a.m. Wednesday, really proud of getting it out there, but I did make some changes just uh, for full transparency. And also uh, Sam mentioned in a post on Reddit that these rates did change a little bit. The uh, the high chances uh, were slightly, uh, slightly nerfed, but uh, still, still higher than the normal and uh, obviously the low chances i think went from like three percent to two percent so even more rare for the the rare items but just kind of the high level for the drivers 
you know, I, I did include DK Junior SNES. Uh, I did not have him last tour as one that to look into, but I think just with this tour, especially just having access to the great coverage, his skills, uh, you know, for what it's worth, it's it's uh, still a pretty good skill. I think for a newer driver, if you don't have him, just definitely worth researching. All of these like little stud fit ruby colored uh, logos, they're just trying to be a nudge, just to get you, just to get you to take a look at it. I think if you don't see that uh, that that logo, it still might be worth. Uh, for your account. I just think in, in, in when we're looking at a meta perspective, these are the items that are going to help a lot of people more than others, uh, just high level. So again, you know, White Tanuki Mario, Meowser, if you have Meowser, you don't have them in your account, just go ahead and get them. I think that one's a 100% a great lock for your any account, really. Um, I put uh, Mario Tuxedo, I went back and forth about taking it off or not. But I think anytime you if you don't have him, it is worth researching. That's all it this goal is, and I put all the coin box drivers that are gold and the really, really low rate. Again, 2%, you, you probably never, you might not even see these, but if you see gold, Chuck, definitely get them. Uh, you'll notice later why, but uh, as moving into the carts, I put uh, Robbie Runner and uh, the Cream Cat, Cat Cruiser added that this week. Um, Magnum Broom, Tropical Truck, uh, Shield Speedster, uh, Yellow Off-Roader and Red Off-Roader. I did add the Red, red Off-Roader um it's it's still good i mean we're still pretty new so we're still figuring things out but uh started out really hot um great starting coverage uh we'll see how it goes uh but right right now um i, I don't want to knock it we're still figuring it out it's still growing and then for gliders we got the i added the black uh black cat parafoil we have the green pad cat parafoil the uh eight bit fire flower Sorry, great seal. It's kind of in the. It's kind of in the. It's really helpful for me, and it, it was really strong for a while. But um, it, you know, it, that I one's probably most glider. debatable. Then we have the eight bit bullet bill, the uh, one up mushroom. I think that one's the lock in this of uh, this list. What definitely worth you getting? Uh, vanilla and chocolate uh, balloons. There, the lava rocks is kind of on the fringe. I think it's really good though, especially the fact it's new. I think a lot of established players are were really attracted to it. Yeah. I think it's. I think it's still yet to be determined where its value is, but uh, certainly worth a, a pickup and a stash. Then we have the Black Star Shoot, the uh, Mo uh, Boom Masks, and then I put uh, the Golden Wings at the very bottom. So anything, Antilev, you'd want to add or take off of that list? Um, uh, you know, I would say the original to Snooki card is not a bad pickup if you need it. You know, it, it doesn't have a lot of like newer tracks. It hasn't gotten a lot of buffs this year, but it has a lot of tracks and like no cities. It has zero cities, which is crazy. Um, I also think the Mario's had Balloons, uh, balloon uh, glider is a like a decent glider, and the pink gold meteors as well. Uh, I mean, th there's actually quite some good gliders on there that that you didn't, you know, like glittering parasol, silver manta. But there's just a lot of like good gliders in the game, you know. So it's it's you know uh, again the black uh, toby balloons is decent. Um, mm -hmm. So there's I mean you, you don't want to give everything an S. So you know, I'm more or less agree <laughs> with uh, what you put there. If I, if I put rubies on uh, everything, then, uh, then then what's the, really the purpose of it? So absolutely, yeah, I had to kind of draw the line somewhere. I mean, the silver star shoots still the top. 10 glider for me uh just but i mean it's not going to be it's not going to help you that much for this year's coverage and so that's kind of where yeah. i have to draw that line but i agree with the tanuki cards uh as i mentioned i took mine from i think level five and what was it uh two thirds or whatever all the way up to um level eight triple uncapped and for for me i looked at my coverage um if i took it to to level seven double uncapped it would be a top 10 cart for me by taking it to level eight, um, triple uncapped, it actually was my my number three cart in the game, even above oh, the wow. tropical truck. So um, I did some research, gave me, I think like, obviously at that level, it had something like you know, 20, 22 of the 24 tracks, but yeah, it's um, it's a really strong cart uh, and it's, it's fun to drive. Uh, I think I was debating between using that or the Black Cat Cruiser on uh, the mountain, uh, DK Mountain, and man, that Black Cat Cruiser, it's, it is it is a—it is a tiny cart. I, I don't yes, mind using the medium carts. So I know people like, you know, the Tanuki cart's not that big, but like when you're using, I don't, I just don't want to use a small cart. That's my thing is like, yeah, sure. I just want to use a, a medium or above. I never want to use a small cart. So for me, like Tropical Truck, you know, uh, White Bruiser, that's fun to use, but if I'm using like the Cat Cruiser, man, I just have a hard time. I, I cannot it's do It's rough, that. yeah. It's doing, it's rough with that. All right, so there we go. That's Daily Spotlight Shop. Uh, credits again to Sam78 IT. He is the goat of the data mining at the moment. Uh, appreciate everything he does. Let's talk about the buffs. There's so there's uh, a decent amount of buffs. So they're hit or miss, right? So we we either have like some of the oldest oldest tracks in the game, or brand spanking new from this wonderful set of uh, of, of tough tough tracks to to cover. Um, but we have Charging Chuck, 
PD Piranha Gold uh, as really the top two that gets uh, three buffs. Um, Charging Chuck Gold, uh, Rock Rock Mountain, that's a down. Um, DK Mountain and DK Mountain R, those are both positive. So those are two really good buffs of his three. PD Piranha Gold, got PD Piranha Slide, which again, you know, Got some overlap with the other PD items. That's to be expected. Uh, but only one of those, which is interesting. We got the Riverside Park and then the Riverside Park T. Two phenomenal buffs for him. That's fantastic. We got D DK Junior S and the S, which last year he kept, <clears throat> he kept getting these buffs on these like brand new release tracks. And then later they'd add new top skills on it. But uh, yeah, uh, overall though, um, three brand new tracks that he got coverage to. That's phenomenal. Uh, number 18 on our list, 15 cities, 30 assumed tracks for DK, Junior, S, and yes. Um, Mario King, just to kind of point it out, he does get this Rock Rock Mountain T. That's not a, necessarily a great track for him. I mean, T, it's, a, it's a lot of gliding on that track in, in, in addition to that. But Baby Park R, um, that's a really good track. Bowser's Castle, 1R, and eh, it's okay. So uh, just I think, I think Mario is still going to have a, an uphill battle trying to dig himself out of those city tracks but he's number 30 on our list with 14 cities and 10 10 assumed tracks that's it man um and that's really really kind of the focus point focal point of the drivers with three bus as for those with two topping the list here is uh daisy tie dress uh she gets two phenomenal buffs these are riverside park um buffs so you gotta love that white tanuki mario um, got the DK Mountain RT and then the Sky Garden. Sky Garden, uh, obviously much more narrow. Uh, he's got nine cities, 20 assumed tracks. And then Yoshi Kangaroo, you're using them in ranked potentially with uh, these two phenomenal buffs, Riverside Park and Riverside Park R. You got Luigi Knight, uh, you know, the Yoshi Valley R is okay, but you love this DK Mountain RT, phenomenal buff for him. Uh, that's really all I want to talk about for the drivers with uh, two and three buffs. What's your thoughts, Angela? Um, yeah, so the uh, so what I've been doing lately is having a look at the top five most valuable um, buffs of a tour. Um, so this tour, the single most valuable buff is actually uh, Mario Sunshine. He got a DK Mountain T that's on the next slide, you'll see it. Um, and that's worth um, about three and a half times worth an older retro track for a non-plus skill driver. Um, and we've also got two a tie for second place uh, they both have the same value of buff a uh, pd piranha gold getting um riverside park t it's about triple the uh, value of an, a normal older track and yoshi kangaroo riverside park r is also say triple the value um these are all um tracks which are uh plus skill drivers and exclusives, um, you know, especially Mario Sunshine. And there's only six top shelf drivers on that track. So it gets also bonus for being heavily paywalled because there's so few top shelf drivers. And after that, there's a bunch of gliders. There's 13 gliders that got new um, new tracks um, that uh, were like really valuable um, because a lot of the new tracks this tour have a very narrow top shelf. Um, and we give a bonus to those uh, tracks that have a narrow top shelf. And then um, after that, like Mario King, just for, he got Baby Park R. So let's like start with him. Mario King king's buff because i know it's kind of a controversial topic okay so we got three buffs non-cities up to 14 uh, non-city tracks so it's like going kind of going okay but you know if he started in a normal tour he would probably be around 20 right now um you got rock rock mountain t that's not a good buff um I think um, Gold Chuck also got it, um, and it's also a track where you can get 200 actions with like literally any skill in the yeah. game. So there's not a huge advantage for Coinbox here, um, and he's sharing it with a, with a, with a heavy. Um, and then he got uh, RMX Bowser's Castle One R. That's a nice, it's a newer track. However, uh, there is Kamek and Gold Chuck also on the track, and there's also Blockhead. So he's sharing it with oh, a heavy Kamek, who a lot of people have, and also a Me suit. So it's it's not actually that great of a buff um i mean it's okay but it, it it's not I mean, fantastic then you got baby park r which is a coin box exclusive so that's like a really really good buff for him um i am of the opinion that baby park n and r are better uh with boomerang um i've just been grinding for acr i got 187 actions wow. with uh pd piranha and baby park r i'm not sure if you can get 100 80 plus with coin box on this track um i think boomerang is better um uh, but it's still it's coin box exclusive so it's a great buff for him but that being said him getting three buffs it's kind of disappointing he didn't get more newer tracks um he didn't get any of the the riverside park or dk mountain tracks which i think is kind of um a depressing but if you look at like what gold pd and gold chuck got uh mm -hmm. gold chuck got two new tracks um n and r dk mountain okay rocker mountain t isn't good but the other two are great and one isn't ranked um 
you know, that's another thing. King Mario is not not getting any ranked uh, track. Um, Gold PD got three great buffs: uh, a Prime Plant Side N, that's an awesome one. Um, Riverside Park and Riverside Park T. Um, like I said, Riverside Park T is a coin box exclusive. Um, yeah, and then I think Ty Daisy, a phenomenal value here. Both uh, two new Riverside Parks. One is in ranked, and the other one is an exclusive. So both like bonus value. I think she might actually, even though she only has two buffs, she might have the most added value of any driver, and that's why she's up to four for sure um yoshi kangaroo also got an exclusive at ranked one that's why that was um, a, a valuable one uh, third most second most valuable uh, buff in the tour and then he got another a riverside park end so that's that's great for yoshi kangaroo as an older driver getting uh two new tracks um a great driver um and i also wanted to mention uh dr peach uh, but i think that's in the next slide so i'll wait till we get there but she, she got a buff and she's just like accumulating tracks um yeah, other than that no i don't think it has i had a whole lot else to say uh for my notes no uh, i think i had a couple other things to say about <laughs> single buff drivers okay. uh, but we'll wait till the next next slide sure i will say though uh pete Pron gold on that uh, riverside park t i did a couple runs on that track that's a tough track for coin box oh yeah it's going to go everywhere dude there's so many ramps so many things going on okay for what no I'm, i don't know i'm not i'm not coin boxing it i'm doing uh doing <laughs> some different skill i mean it, it it was just pandemonium um i do love daisy tie dress that was one that i invested in earlier and she, i mean i do it seems like nintendo has been going out of their way to give her like the perfect track here the perfect track yeah. there and just like every tour it seems like she they're, they've kind of hand-picked these perfect tracks for her, so I, I think that's phenomenal. And then Yoshi Daisy is up to seven exclusive coin box tracks, so seven oh. of her twenty tracks, she's the only coin boxer. So that's amazing. But that that tied amazing. for the most in the game, tied with Gold Koopa, who's wow. her old tracks, and Blockhead, who's we all know Blockhead. Yeah, we all know Blockhead. Um, yeah, Ty, Ty Dress. I mean, she's had a phenomenal, phenomenal year. Uh, and then Yoshi Kangaroo, man, it's so much fun using. I mean, he already is a really good pairing with so many drivers. Like he just, I don't know why, but uh, he just seems still to be in this like very unique spot where he just has these uh, specifically carved out tracks that are great to pair with so many other drivers. Mm -hmm. So yeah, if you have to, to level him up, don't be afraid. He's still worth it. He's still getting <laughs> some really unique coverage here, as you can see. Let's get into those drivers with one buff. And I'll really only talk about uh, the top four here, which are Meowser, Question Block, and then Yoshi Egg, and then Dr. Peach. Um, you already talked a little bit about Dr. Peach. She's up to 25 Assume tracks, nine cities. Uh, to, you know, with not having a plus skill, I think she's the the number one not plus skill driver in the yes, game. Yes, she is. So uh, this uh, Riverside Park RT. Now this might only help uh, you know Draco and and uh, the Mushroom Legacy, but I mean if you wanted to invest in Doctor Peach, you love Peach, you love Doctors, uh, go for it. She's she's got really good coverage. In a way, she's kind of like the uh, Peach Explorer of uh, of 2022. Yep. Yeah, but, Rosalina. Tanuki Rosalina. There you go. Um, overall, though, Meowser, uh, really strong buff for him. It's in ranked. It's uh, he only got one buff, but I mean, you gotta love that, especially you know. I think as as the year that uh, Meowser's had, I think he's. I think as we'll look back at the end of the year, looking back and say this was probably Meowser's year. He just kept crushing it, kept oh, yeah. crushing it. Now, of course, he doesn't have the you know. There's the the me conversation, but that aside, he's had a really phenomenal year. And this is like the if you only get one buff, this is the buff to have. Is you know a ranked brand new track uh that's you know very unique for coin box now again coin box you know dk mountains uh it's it's, its own beast but um certainly big, big win there question block obviously the the yoshi circuit rt you know it's an older track but still really really good for him i mean anytime you have a, a me getting a, an older track that may not have other coin box me drivers on it it's a huge win every track literally every track is is phenomenal for any me because that's a brand, brand new coverage where you're probably going to be the best option and then yoshi gold egg you know, his, his year is, uh, has had been up and down. But this is a good buff for him with DK Mountain R. What's your thoughts on the rest of the uh, the items here with uh, by drivers with one buff? Yeah, so the the Meowser buff, it's like he's basically seen every track. I mean, there's a couple of RTs that we haven't seen since the Toad versus Toadette tour. Um, but other than that, he's seen everything. So anything he gets at this point is basically a bonus. Um, and the fact that they gave him um, the, like basically headliner track of the tour the, the the number one ranked track is is, is crazy added value for him so so really nice buff for a and only four cities yeah who, who had a ridiculous amount of track and, and only four cities which actually at this point it doesn't matter if he would get more cities it would be fine as well it wouldn't be you know like blocking him out yeah at this point, um yeah. orange yoshi got a nice ranked buff i think i'm actually using orange yoshi in my acr grind um just because i'm not taking up gold pd for that track um so that was that was nice for him um 
the um, the blockhead buff, like as you said, it's not the greatest track, and that's why he drops to number three because the uh, other drivers got better buffs this tour. Um, but it's still it's all it's all it's all about bonus for 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 for, for blockhead because he's now the best option on that track. Um, yeah, um, I think that's basically it. I I, I I like that they gave the Nabbit Me um, a <laughs> a ranked buff as well. I like to see when the Me suits yeah. with the plus skills get more. I mean, he's only got uh, eighteen assumed tracks. Uh, actually, he's got eighteen assumed tracks, which is just, which is quite a lot for a Me suit. Um, so that's, that's that's not bad. Um, one other thing, again, a big fat zero for gold, silver, and bronze Me suits. Mm. No top shelves. And no middle shelves either. Um, and middle shelves are yeah, actually valuable shelf. for me's because they get those Mies. random boosts. Yeah. So yeah. that's a big, uh, big negative for the gold, silver, and bronze suits, unfortunately. Yeah, we'll see uh, how these me suits. It's, it's you know, it's for one of those things of, of like own Bennett and trying to invest in me's. You wonder when uh, they'll, they'll like has it dried up or you know what's what's going to be the situation with them. But yeah, I agree hundred percent. I will say, Dry Bones Gold got a nice uh, DK Mountain R. Uh, Mario Sunshine got the nice DK Mountain T. There are a couple of yeah. nice uh, refreshing um, additions and buffs there. But that's uh, it for the drivers. Let's get into the carts. Um, four carts with four buffs, including the Red Vampire Flyer, which we talked about already having a large hitbox, ranked reward, um, getting Riverside Park, DK Mountain, DK Mountain T, and then the Bowser's Castle 1T. So all that's new tracks for this Insane from this year. Insane buffs. Insane buffs. Uh, that's why you can see here it's already number eight on our list. Uh, that's and then you already have the huge hit box. So you know if you got it for ranked and you want to level it up, go for it, man. It's uh, obviously um, I'm a big fan of the original uh, Vampire Flyer, which I know Ansel and I have had our uh, our history with. But uh, it, it is a great hit box. It already has great coverage. As we're talking about it, like we're still figuring out where Nintendo has kind of putting a premium on things, whether it's you know the commemorative mm -hmm. items or ranked reward. But I think. I think in general they want people going for these ranked awards, and so for that reason, uh, it's really strong there. Um, Streetle uh, got four buffs with Baby Park and Baby Park T, and that's that's those are really the two buffs you like there from the Streetle. Got some Dino Dino Jungles, which are fine. Um, Gold Eagle got four buffs. Uh, unfortunately, none of the brand new tracks to this tour. It got DK Mountain, uh, and two Mushroom Gorges, and a Yoshi Valley. So unfortunately, it is 167 on our list. I know a lot of people last tour were really excited about it, um, and and it and it's got a good hitbox. It's nice and wide, not quite as long as the off roader, making it uh, making that box as a as a 3D object smaller than uh, some of the other ones. But man, this is this is uh, unfortunately a, a huge loss for the Gold Eagle, in my my opinion. <clears throat> makes me almost kind of wonder how they're they're ranking the, the gold rewards <clears throat> gold pass rewards and then the blue speeder uh got piranha plant slide r riverside park rt sky garden t and riverside park t then there are four carts with three buffs including the flaming speeder got dk mountain r dk mountain t and bowser's castle one pretty good one uh pretty good buffing there for the flaming speedster Black Carriage got Riverside Park, Riverside Park, Yoshi Valley are above average buffs there. Blazing Eagle got DK Mountain, DK Mountain T, and Bowser's Castle 1R. I'd say this Blazing Eagle got the better buff, by far the better buffs in the Gold Eagle. Um, pretty strong value there. I mean, there's uh, two of the brand new tracks and, and another 2022 track there for the Blazing Eagle. And then this, the, the Taylor Swift got the Sky Garden R, Mushroom Gorge, Mushroom Gorge T. I would say if you had to rank these three eagles and and who won, I'd say Blazing Eagle got the best buffs by far. This tour, uh, Taylor Swift be underneath that, and then the Gold Eagle on the very bottom. Um, and they're I don't even think it's close. I think it's pretty pretty set that that's that's who won between these three eagles. Um, it's uh, Blazing Eagle, um, not a bad one to invest in. Uh, that's probably the way I would just leave it. I, I I think that even even some of these Mushroom Gorges that uh, the Taylor Swift got. I don't know. I, I'm pretty well covered there. Don't need any help. Uh, even it does have a pretty good hitbox, <clears throat> and uh, maybe, maybe the, some some of the hitboxes there on the Sky Garden or Mushroom Gorge uh, that that would help you out. But um, I feel bad. I know we we're coming out of last tour, you know, saying hey, we have these three large hitboxes here. We got these uh, three new hitboxes here with the you know the Mumu off roader, the Camo Tanuki, and uh, the Gold Rombi, and we're saying we got six cards to choose from. 
I mean, honestly, unless maybe the Blazing Eagle, but I, man, I just, I just feel like yeah, if you have to invest in any of those six, it's got to be the ones coming out this tour. I think you're going to probably win there. As for the cards with two buffs, Yellow Off Rotor, man. I can't believe what a year this Yellow Off Rotor has had. It's got the Riverside Park RT and Riverside Park T, and also in ranked uh, thanks to Chaco Mountain RT. It's, it's, it's had a phenomenal year. Uh, if you have to get it and invest in it, I think. There's not one item in the game that would that's a more safe investment by far. Get the white bruiser. Got some good buffs here with Riverside Park R and Riverside Park RT. Now number four on the list. It jumped up substantially. It was one that thanks to that special pipe uh, I took up really high from day one. And in that same vein, my tropical truck. It's uh, it's the only cart that I've quad capped. It is number six on our list, thanks to Riverside Park R and DK Mountain RT. Uh, some awesome carts there. 18 Zoom Tracks, eight cities there for the Tropical Truck. I mean, this is this for when it comes to carts, cart buffs. I, I I have to I have to be honest with you. I'm I'm Nintendo did right by me. I feel like when it, just looked at my investments and said, all right, here's all your carts getting all these nice buffs. I just am feeling very blessed right now uh, about the buff, the buffing there. Cream Cat Cruiser, got Riverside Park, Riverside Park R, 20 Zoom Tracks, 9 Cities, number 12 on our list. And then <laughs> another Cat Cruiser, the Green Cat Cruiser, um, got the DK Mountain RT and DK Mountain T. Gold Bullet Blaster, a uh, surprisingly strong gold cart, which has kind of been a new trend here this year. Uh, 17 Zoom Tracks, 5 Cities, number 15 on our list with DK Mountain RT and DK Mountain T. Robbie Runner got uh, some nice buffs, kind of re-erected re from the past. Uh, Riverside Park R and Riverside Park RT. Um, and then your Tiger Bruiser got TK Mountain and TK Mountain RT. Gold Swift Ride, Piranha Plant Slide, Riverside Park RT. And that's probably where I'll draw the line on where I think uh, some value was added. But what's your thoughts on uh, the carts with four, three, and two buffs? Yeah, so the Red Vampire Flyer, the, the, the value it got is incredible. Like, oh, three brand new tracks and one other track from a tour that's just a few tours old. Um, the amount of uh, value in those buffs is, is absolutely crazy. Um, it's one of the best set of buffs I've ever seen. So definitely keep an eye on that one. Coupled with the big hitbox, it might be a good one to invest in in the future. Um, yeah, Rambi Runner got uh, those two uh, new tracks. So that's a nice buff for an older um, cart that has already had a lot of tracks and now it has even my 26 26 tracks i think is the third most in the game wow. uh tied with silver king 26 non cities um <laughs> The yellow off-roader is just, it's great. 29 is is by far the most non-city tracks in the game. It's two more than the number two, which is Tanuki Kart, uh, that got, yeah. that is 27. Um, so that's just crazy, and, and and one of them is in ranked. So, I mean, <laughs> what can you say? Um, the yellow off-roader is, is, is amazing. Oh um, <laughs> Streetle got four buffs, but unfortunately, none of them are new, new brand new tracks, and two of them are very old tracks, so that's kind of a disappointing one. Um, there are two carts this tour that got um almost every cart got at most one ranked buff um there's there are two carts which got two ranked buffs tiger bruiser got a uh, dk mountain uh n and rt so both in ranked and, and your tropical truck got two uh ranked buffs uh, riverside park r and dk mountain rt so i mean those are you know value wise probably um the, the best of the best buffs of the of the two um two buff uh, carts yeah, you know, all these, uh, all, for the last couple of months, I've been like, tropical truck, tropical truck, and you're just like, you're probably just like scratching your head, like, why is he so up, up on this tropical truck? I don't know, man. Um, there's something about it that's magical to me, and uh, really glad to see its buffs there. It's one, it's one, again, you know, you never know what your investment will turn into. This one has, uh, over the long run, been really, really good for, uh, for a lot of people. Um, talking about other cards that you gotta love, uh, Shield Speeds are getting this DK Mountain RT, a ranked track there. 17 assumed tracks, five cities, number two on the list. So, again, um, you know, I'm not panicking, uh, but uh, this is one that, uh, thanks to the algorithm, um, I took to level 8, 7, um, 15. And uh, really, really loving it. It's, a, it's an awesome car to drive. I saw even Sammy D get excited. He, he got it and uh, looking forward to watching him level it up. It's so fun. It's such a fun car. It's, it's like really made an impact on uh, on on just the community in general throughout the, the last couple of years. My fault. <laughs> Your fault. Red Off-Roader, um, number 11 uh, with DK Mountain R. Magnum Broom with uh, number 3. 
with DK Mountain RT, Tanuki Kart with DK Mountain R, number 22 on our list, Grey Cat Cruiser, Dark Trickster to kind of round out uh, the top 45. What's your thoughts on these carts with one buff? Yeah, so um, the, the, the Shield and Speedster uh, fell one spot in the ranking um, because it only got one buff and Yellow Off-Roader got two, but it, it's still like pretty neck and neck with Yellow Off-Roader. I think it's less than one full point behind, and they are like 1A and 1B in terms of the, the rankings, the raw score. Um, it's a really good buff. Even if you're going to get one buff, this is what you want to get, a new, a brand new track that's in ranked. Um, so, so you know, we also we changed the model a little bit this tour. We didn't change the model, but because we have um, a lower amount of RTs compared to NRNT tracks, the values of RTs went down a little bit. So, so any items that had RT, you know, we the last tour we kind of brought the value of RTs up to be on par with the other red show uh, types types of tracks. Um, it fell back down a little bit this tour just because we had less RTs. So, so I think that hurt a little bit as well, but still very close to number one. Um, Red off roader, um, yeah, got, got a nice buff. Unfortunately, it's not ranked. Um, anything else here on the list that's like super interesting? Um, it's nice that Rumby Rider. If you, you, we're getting that as a, I think, gold pass gift this tour, um, and so it's nice option for super. And also, I think it was one of the Koopa Capes where it was top shelf. Um, so kind of nice to, to to for that to be available and also immediately get a ranked buff if you don't have coverage for that one. Um, but yeah, nothing really else. Um, nice to see Tanuki Kart get a, get another buff as well. Yeah, you know what? It's it still it still blows my mind. I'm looking at that that zero cities next to Tanuki Kart. Yeah, just be like, it, it, it actually has zero cities, and it's crazy. It has 27 <laughs> tracks, number two in the game, but it's only 22 on the top 10 rankings. It's because most of his tracks are kind of like <laughs> tracks. Um, you know, it, it hasn't really gotten a lot of buffs, and it hasn't really been in rank that much. Um, so we'll see. I mean, maybe it'll have a second wind and kind of you know uh, hop back into the top 15. But uh, but it's still a very valuable card to just have in your inventory. Like some of these older cards, like um, old off roader or um, uh, silver king, you know, that had their run and were great. But then just to round out your inventory and to use for ACR, that's just an awesome item to have in the inventory. Like I said, I looked at my spreadsheet and and uh, did some calculations, and uh, it is it at level at level uh, eight seven fifteen. It is, it is um, more important to my account than even the Tropical Truck quad capped at level eight. Uh, just as an, yeah. just one spot different, four and four and three. But for me, like that's, it, it's undeniable if you have to take it up for ranking. That's why I think in general, if you're going for all cup ranking, there's so many great items that uh, that are kind of in parallel with the meta, just really, really strong. Things like uh, the off-roaders, things like Tanuki car, things like Rombi Runner um, that you can't go wrong with. Let's move into gliders though. There's one glider with five buffs and that is the Silver Candlelight Flight. It's uh, unfortunately though, the buffs, they're okay. They're hit or miss. We got the Prenum Plant Slide, Rock Rock Mountain R, both of those okay. I think the Prana Plants are obviously a little bit better, but where you get your real good value is DK Mountain R and DK Mountain RT. Mushroom Gorge T is a solid one as well. So it is up to 14 assumed tracks for cities number 27 on our list. And there are four gliders with four buffs, including the Lava Rocks, which is number 13 on our list, six cities, 17 assumed tracks. That is good for the Lava Rocks. Got DK Mountain and DK Mountain T. Yoshi Valley was okay, but a uh, nice little bonus in addition to the, the DK Mountains. Parapanini. Got uh, Riverside RT, Riverside Park T, and then uh, Baby Park there. White Wave Origami Glider. Unfortunately, <clears throat> this one had an uphill battle coming out in the city tour, but uh, got Piranha Plant Slide T, Riverside Park, and Riverside Park R. Gold Cloud Balloons uh, got um, three buffs as well. Baby, Baby Park R, DK Mountain RT, and DK Mountain T. And then there are a number of gliders with two buffs, including the Green Cap Hair Foil, 22 assumed tracks now, eight cities, number two on our list with DK Mountain, DK Mountain RT. Boom Asks, uh, 18 assumed tracks, six cities uh, with DK Mountain RT and Yoshi Valley T. Cap, Black Cap Parafoil with DK Mountain, DK Mountain T. That's some really good buffs there. Um, cream Toe Beam Balloons with Riverside Park, Riverside Park R. Cap Parafoil with Riverside Park R and Riverside Park RT. Uh, and that's kind of probably where I'll draw the line. You get some uh, some old ones, uh, black Toby and balloons and calico parafoil, getting some solid buffs there too. With uh, the the black Toby and balloons getting the DK mountains and calico parafoil getting the Riverside parks. But uh, what are your thoughts on the uh, the gliders with the most buffs? Five, four, and three. Yeah, I mean the, the gliders had less buffs than the the other two. Um, I, there were there were 
217 total retro buffs on this tour so that's a lot i think it's the second most ever um and that's why we have a big shake up in the rankings but gliders didn't actually have that many only 61 of those 217 were for gliders um and 48 of those are on, on new tracks only 13 older uh, retro buffs um so yeah the silver candlelight flight um five buffs who knew i don't think we've ever seen five buffs for a glider before i think we only saw five buffs for chef rosalina maybe right after she came out yeah. um but th that was compensation for having an all city start I, I don't know um two dk mountains one that isn't ranked um brownie Mountain slide mushroom gorge te uh four great buffs and then rock rock mountain r which is i mean not great but it's an extra track so hey um yeah so that's really nice uh, lava rocks got uh, a ranked buff and th three quality tracks two new ones and one newish one um the boom asks you know just kind of keeps going um <laughs> It, it, it's uh it got two buffs uh one being in ranked um and let's see the uh, oh the gold cloud actually uh, i thought it was quite interesting uh, a ranked buff uh two new tracks and baby park are so so very valuable even though one is kind of lagging uh, i think at all all city start as well yeah um uh yeah not really a whole lot else to talk about here like the gliders are a little bit more boring this tour yeah, let's uh, wrap out, uh, wrap up the total gliders with the uh, eight bit one up mushroom <clears throat> getting a phenomenal buff. Riverside Park T, just an awesome glider, definitely worth investing in. Prop plant balloons, uh, same same note there. Uh, phenomenal glider keeps uh, for being as new as it is, keeps getting kind of the right hand pick, kind of similar to the tie dye and and so we're alluding to. Just keeps on getting really really strong buffs. Eight bit fire flower man, this one, <laughs> what a crazy what three years of having access to it mm -hmm. still a top 10 tracks driver. that's nuts it is absolutely nuts gets a dk and a ranked buff as well you know <clears throat> yeah i triple capped it uh this tour because i just looked at my account it's 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 too powerful it's got 31 yeah. assumed tracks plus 11 cities uh number five on our on our list after being around for, for what seems like forever um yeah. black star shoot 19 assumed tracks five cities there got the dk mountain rt number 11 on our list vanilla and shackle balloons got the riverside park rt with 21 assumed tracks seven cities mint and berry balloons with 18 assumed tracks nine cities getting that same riverside park rt <clears throat> tropical uh tropical balloons also getting that same track with 19 assumed tracks eight cities number 15 on our list with uh, silver luigi's mustache 16 assumed tracks Seven cities with Riverside Park. Uh, that's right around where I'll draw that line. But uh, Angela, what's your thoughts on Glider? Glider's with one buff. Yeah, no, 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 a whole lot. Uh, the Black Star shoot getting a rank track is really nice for that one. I want to see if it can crack the top ten uh, next tour. That's what I'm taking up to uh, to level eight for uh, for for ACR. Uh, Tropical balloons, I really like that one as well. Unfortunately, its buff isn't ranked, but still like a solid buff on a new track. Um, the mint and berry balloons got a, a ranked, uh, no non-ranked buff, but it's still one that we've uh, want to keep an eye on. That's uh, I think that's a future top ten as well. Um, what else? Oh yeah, uh, Star Great Sail getting a new track is is also a phenomenal, and it's and it's a ranked one as well. Um, so that's uh, it's nice to see that one for an older glider that they still still give some buffs. Um, but yeah, not, not a whole lot else to say on the uh, on the um, the gliders. There was a while there where we were talking about uh, which which is the better family, the sails or the apid items. <laughs> I think the apid yeah. items are crushing it right now, dude. Yeah, it's not even close. Um, <laughs> Talking about uh, top items, we uh, I don't know if you want to add anything about this uh, top 10 algorithm and any changes you made to it, but um, this yeah, is sure. a lot of shakeup. So anything you want to uh, uh, preface? Yeah, no, um, we, we didn't change anything uh as far as like the calibration um but there is a change in the weighting of the track types because like so we changed everything over to only take uh history from battle tour and newer because we went to the new 45 track 15 cup format um and 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 for the tours before this we were having an equal amount of rts with the other type of tracks um in this tour we got a bunch of tracks that don't have an rt and so it's only the n rnt track um so there's a lot more um of those than rt so that kind of knocked down the weight of rts a little bit i mean they're still um valuable especially because they also get a bonus for being the most common type of rank track they're just less valuable than they were so if you see an item with a lot of rts uh dropping in value that's that's can be the reason why um that 
may be a little bit unstable going forward until we build more tours into the history to kind of stabilize the value. But I still think it doesn't make sense to use the older um, format where we would have like 10 um, returning tracks and, and, and so the 30 NRTs and then only three RTs. I don't think it really makes sense to take that into account anymore. Um, so yeah, that's that's basically it. Um, and, and again, like I said, I, I, like I have a Discord. If you have questions about the, the model or you want to see comparison of a single <laughs> item between the previous tour and the next tour, you can ask me on there, um, you know, or, or if you have suggestions on how to improve it, then, uh, you know, we're, we're always looking for, for ways to get better. So so please, please join and, and ask your questions or make your comments. Um, but, yeah, let's go have a look at the top ten then. Yeah, and if you uh, if you really love this data, you you'll, uh, you you want to get involved with that server or also, uh, you know, we have, I'm still hiring uh, somebody to help out with these slides. Um, we had the person who's doing it before. It didn't work out with their schedule. Uh uh, so from this perspective, I've just been doing these slides probably for the last uh, month or so, and uh, I, 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 have, I'm, I have no problem doing it, but uh, it is nice to be able to have um, more attention to focus on the, the content itself. And uh, so we are hiring somebody that is a you know, position that I reimburse for. But uh, ultimately, it, you know, ultimately, if you love this data, you love what we're talking about. Uh, it does. Uh, it is fun to, to do this and, and uh, would love to have you um, be a part of the team. Let's start with Luigi Knight, uh, 18 Assume Tracks, 7 Nitro. Uh, I do want, I did kind of make a different tweak here just to be able to kind of highlight uh, Nitro Tracks first because it, this also does include things like uh, Ninja, Ninja Hideaway and some of these uh, Mary Mountain, etc. But 7 Nitro there, 117 tracks left to see. Uh, pairs really well with Ninja, Shy Guy, um, Yoshi Kangaroo, and Mario Saddle of You. 85 out of the 245 tracks, which uh, this this pairing adds 68 tracks uh, to Luigi Knight. Um, ultimately, you know there are no uh, skills that overlap with it five times. But again, he's only got 18 assumed tracks, so um, no surprise that there's nothing specifically that overlaps with it five times. Let's go to number nine. We got Yoshi Gold Egg holding out spot from last tour. 22 assumed tracks, eight Nitro. 39 tracks left to see, uh, has two different pairings, one with uh, Nabbit, Mar uh, Meowser, and Mario Saddle of You, and then Kangaroo replacing um, Nabbit, uh, covering 88 out of the 245 tracks, which adds 67 tracks to his 22. Uh, two drivers overlap with it six times, including Rosalina, uh, Volendam, and the Gold Me Racing Suit. The Gold Me Racing Suit obviously being the glaring one there. Uh, losing six out of his 22 tracks is not uh, not something you necessarily want, but uh, he's still got some pretty strong value. Then we have Yoshi Kangaroo jumping up a whopping eight spots to number eight on our list. 28 assumed tracks, 15 Nitro. That's crazy. He has no tracks left to see, but 28 assumed tracks, 15 Nitro. That's a lot of tracks. Uh, he pairs really well. Uh, a new one added to the list, so uh, Petey Piranha actually replaced Nabbit on this list uh, with a pairing. It covers 90 out of the 245 tracks. So just to kind of put that in perspective, guys, if you have four of these drivers covers 90 out of 240 tracks, that's basically, you know, basically a third of uh, the tracks in the game of these assumed tracks uh, can be covered with four, four, uh, four items. So these are strong meta level items, uh, top skill items here. So um, 90 out of the 245 tracks, add 63 tracks with, the, with this pairing, added on to 28. That's phenomenal there for Yoshi Kangaroo. Uh, it does overlap five times. Again, we're talking about you know 28 assumed tracks, 15 nitro. It only overlaps zero with six, which is crazy. Um, but does I will say the drivers on this list are some pretty strong um, coin box drivers and a boomerang driver with Gold Cooper Free Running, King Bob Omb Gold, Tie Dress, and Vacation, Luigi Vacation. So uh, just keep that in the back of your mind. I think overall, if you have to invest in Yoshi Kangaroo, this is a good tour to do it in. He's a strong, strong driver that goes well with almost any account. Now, unfortunately, Petey Piranha did go down two spots. He's number seven on our list. 22 assumed tracks, five Nitro, 80 tracks left to see. Pairs really well with Meowser, Kangaroo, and Saddle of You, covering 90 out of the 445 tracks. However, I will say the top skill over um, top skill overlap. Uh, one huge negative would be question block uh, head. Five tracks there. Um, yeah, for what it's worth, if you've invested a lot into question block, which I know a lot in the in the community have, uh, five overlaps is not necessarily great, but still a phenomenal driver. Uh, he's fun to use, and he's uh, obviously a fan favorite. 
White Tanuki Mario, shout out to the uh, Banana Republic, up two spots to number six on our list. 20 Assume tracks, nine Nitro, still has 91 tracks to see. It's a lot of tracks still left to see. Pairs really well with either Nabbit or Drybones Gold and uh, Kangaroo and Meowser. Drybones Gold was actually a new pairing this tour, which is surprising. He's not often on this pairing list, but covers 86 out of the 245 tracks which uh, that pairing adds 66 to the 22. Um, the overlap, uh, unfortunately, if you've invested heavily into the Giant Banana, there are five tracks that uh, White Snooki overlaps with Chef Rosalina. Then number five on our list, uh, down three spots, unfortunately, is the Gold Me Racing Suit. 23 assumed tracks where it is the best driver in those on those 23 tracks, hands down. 13 Nitro, 26 tracks left to see. Pairs really well with uh, Yoshi Kangaroo, Meowser, and Saddle of You. Um, does overlap the most with Peach Happy, who has uh, basically been extinct. And uh, we already talked about Gold, Yoshi Egg. Um, and then we have Meowser and, and uh, Vacation kind of in some peripheral five overlaps there for them. Um, then number four, Todd, we talked about Daisy, Daisy Tie Dress. Uh, she's had a phenomenal year. Uh, one of the things is you, uh, on the right, you see the number of tracks that she has. I can blow that one up because it's uh, the number of overlaps uh, drivers, top skill, are very narrow. You see here, you know, like with Prime Plant Slide R, you know, three, three top skills. Uh, Bowser's Castle 3, three top skills. Uh, Riverside R, T, just one top skill. That's a me suit that you probably don't have leveled up. You know, uh, Daisy Cruiser just has a, a giant banana driver. So you see, like, it's very narrow overlap there with the top shelf. That's what you like to see out of a coin box driver. But 20 Assume tracks, 7 Nitro for her, 74 tracks left to see. Still a lot of tracks. We feel like she's been around for a long time. But right when she was released, we kept seeing the same tracks over and over again. And so maybe that's kind of delayed her access to new tr uh, some of these existing tracks. But 74 tracks still left to see. Much more than I was expecting to see. Pairs really well with Nabbit, Meowser, and Saddle of You, covering 85 of the 245 tracks. And then uh, I will say, though, the overlap that she uh, kind, of, kind of hesitates to see. But again, she's got a lot of tracks already, um, but she, she does uh, overlap with Yoshi Kangaroo five times. Uh, five is not a huge number, but uh, just for what it's worth. Now, here we go. Number three, down two spots, unfortunately, but still one of the top skill, skill drivers to, to invest in. 20 assumed tracks where it is the number one uh, card, uh, driver in the game. Does not overlap that much with Gold Me, which we thought would happen early on. Um, 20 assumed tracks, 7 Nitro, 48 tracks still left to see. Not bad. Um, I will say he overlaps really well with uh, Boomerang drivers. As you can see here, uh, Rosalina Volendam. Shy Guy Ninja and Yoshi Kangaroo covering 86 of the 245 tracks. However, uh, some of the top skill overlap, it does overlap with PD five times and Saddle of You five times. Here we go, number uh, two on our list, Meows are up one spot, 28 assumed tracks. That's right, 28 assumed tracks, only four Nitro. Does, uh, it's only got 11 tracks left to see, but 28 tracks, guys. This is phenomenal for Meowser. Pairs really well with PD Piranha, Yoshi, Kangaroo, and Saddle of You covering 90 out of the 245 tracks. However, it does overlap seven times with uh, these two really uh, interesting boomerang drivers, Shy Guy Ninja and uh, Samurai. Seven, seven's a big number, but you got 28 assumed tracks. So don't, don't, don't fret too much about these, but uh, I think a lot of people have actually shied away from Samurai because of this one stat. Uh, and then he does overlap with Kamek six times, which is, uh, that, that one's a little bit more alarming. But he's got the giant hitbox, so he's going to trump uh, Kamek on those six tracks for what it's worth. And then we have a brand new number one driver in the game. That's right, Charging Chuck Gold. 19 assumed tracks, five Nitro here. Still 108 tracks left to see. Pairs really well with some non-coin box drivers, including uh, Shy Guy Ninja, Yoshi Kangaroo and Mario Saddle of You covering 88 out of the 245 tracks. So this pairing adds 70 tracks there. You got to love that. Um, by the way, Kangaroo on that, Kangaroo actually replaced Nabbit. Nabbit was on this before. So again, you know, another reason to invest in Kangaroo. Not a bad one here. Um, he, he, do, he does have added overlap with uh, Charging Chuck. They now overlap five times before he had, uh, he had none that he overlapped with five times. But Antelope, let's get it to you. Let's round out the top 15. Mario Samurai at 11, Charging Chuck at 12, Dr. Peach at 13, Rosalina Volandam at 14, and Petey Piranha Gold at 14 already. You gotta love Peter Piranha breaking the top 15. What's your thoughts on the top 10?
Um, so, like, people always, like, look at the rankings, like, oh, why did this one go up and why did this one go down? Um, the, the, like, we, we don't show the actual, like, raw scores here, um, and maybe we should because I think those are actually more relevant. So, like, the, the interesting thing about the top ten right now is the top five are all really, really close. Like, Gold Me Racing Suit, uh, based on a, um, a scale of 100, is only three and a half points behind Charging Chuck Gold. So, I mean, take your pick. Oh. All five of those drivers are, are amazing. And then the drop-off from gold me racing suit to white's nuki mario is 14 points difference wow. so um it's a huge cliff after a gold me racing suit so you really got a top five here and then kind of the the the, the best of the rest uh come <laughs> um mm -hmm. yeah that being said uh, you know gold charging chuck is just getting all the right tracks he he barely beat out uh meowser um who also got a nice buff and then you know question of the blockhead got a buff but it just wasn't as good as as the other two so so he's sinking a little bit uh we may have to think about bumping the me bonus up a little bit uh just because the the base points just seem to never keep ending it's the getting bonus. outrageous uh, they keep yeah so so we have a 10 percent bonus for me's now we might raise it to 15 um next tour we'll see I mean, we'll, we'll maybe test that out and see how it would impact the rankings and see what people think about it um but yeah um it, it, Yoshi Kangaroo up eight spots. I think it's it's a really big jump for for an older driver. You don't see that very often. I think it's interesting. And Pete Baranya is uh, is up ten spots as well. That's a huge jump into the top fifteen. Um, yeah, other than that, I don't think there's really a whole lot to, to mention. Again, like there's nothing here where a driver lost value because of a change in the model or anything like that. So, so we can move on. Yeah, it's a, it's an awesome it's an awesome tour, man. We love this tour. There's so many great yeah. tracks. It's shaking things up. It's also shaking things up for carts. So let's talk about this for a little bit. We got Starberry, Strawberry Soft Swerve, 17 assumed tracks, 8 Nitro, nine, <clears throat> 91 tracks left to see. That's still a lot of tracks left to see. Pairs really well with the Armored Rider, Gold, Pumpkin, and the Yellow Off-Roader, covering 88 out of the 245 tracks. It's got a lot of overlap with this uh, this mini bus. Uh, this is the Chocolate Banana mini bus, I believe. Uh, not the one, that's not like a meta cart, so you're not too worried about that one. It's almost like a, kind of a plus. Like, all right. Cool. I don't have to worry about these. Uh, guys overlap six times with the green cat cruiser and the watermelon cart. Uh, but again, that's down four spots. We see a lot of shakeup on carts, as you can see. Warrior wagon fell seven spots. Now, last tour went up. It got a nice, nice big boost. Uh, obviously, it was a city tour, so it was, um, you know, it, it, you know, we, we already have our city conversation, but you know, it got a nice little bump there, but it was not long lasting. Uh, Twenty-two assume tracks. 12 Nitro, 30 tracks left to see. Pairs really well with Silver King, Magna Broom, and Yellow Off Rotor. Uh, covering 89 of the 245 tracks. It does overlap a, a whopping nine times with the Cactar. A lot of people invested in the Cactar earlier this year. Uh, came out similar uh, style with the Yellow Off Rotor, but the Yellow Off Rotor blew it out of the water. Cactar definitely lagging behind, uh, but it definitely was one that people invested in early on. Again, nine overlaps is one of the highest you'll see on this entire slide deck. So, uh, Warrior Wagon co covering nine times there, and then a steep drop off there until it, the next highest, which is the uh, the Fast Frank at six. Number eight on our list, <laughs> one of 39 spots. The Red Vampire Flyer, again, phenomenal hitbox. We already know that, but it's up to 13 assumed tracks, three Nitro, <clears throat> 169 tracks left to see. Kind of similar style to the Shield Speedster where it, it you exactly. already got so much great value to start mm -hmm. with, and it has only up to go from here. Now in the algorithm, you know, things that can jump up pretty quick, and it's hard to sustain it. We'll see if it goes up or, uh, or stays stagnant, but I think this is a, this is a great card. If you have to invest in a cart, do not shy away from this Red Vampire Flyer. There's a lot of things that pair with it really well three times, but uh, had, to, had to narrow it down. Um, so it pairs really well with two carts, the uh, Gold Pumpkin Cart and the Yellow Off Roader, uh, 63 out of the 245 tracks. It does not overlap five times with any other cart, which is uh, to be expected, the fact that it only has 16 total tracks anyway. Then Lightning Streamliner did go down two spots, uh, did not you know what it did not win this tour uh did not walk away with any of the great buffs that we had access to this mm -hmm. tour which is uh which is sad it had such a great starting coverage i don't i don't know if this will continue but it did it did have such a great start wonder what's going to happen to it going forward 19 assumed tracks 8 nitro 80 tracks left to see between the gold pumpkin cart or the rombie rider you take your pick that paired with the armored rider and yellow off-roader cover 87 of the 245 tracks 
Here's, here's the big negative though. It does overlap with uh, the red off-roader five times. That's uh, something to be alarmed of. Both of them are uh, are kind of batty cars that look super awesome, um, but uh, certainly the red off-roader gonna um, trump it with its size. And then um, here's my my favorite cart in the game, Tropical Truck, 18 assumed tracks, eight nitro, still 74 tracks left to see. Kind of, again, kind of came, uh, I kind of put it in the same category as the, the Daisy Tide Dress, where it just kept getting nice little, uh, nice little uh, awesome tracks that were kind of hand-picked here, but still has a lot of tracks left to see. Again, we this is kind of was when we were seeing the Coconut Mall over and over again, kept seeing Warrior Shipyard over and over again, this this summer where we had uh, some of these tracks repeating over and over again. Pairs really well with, you can kind of take a break between the Armored Rider or the uh, the Mark II, paired with the Gold Pumpkin Cart and Yellow Off-Roader covering 88 of the 245, 245 tracks. Does overlap uh, five times with this Cream Cat Cruiser. Not too worried about that. Again, for me, I, I am not I'm not too worried about medium sized carts and above. I prefer large over medium, but I'm, I'm fine with medium. It's when you get tiny. Uh, so again, don't the tropical truck is on this list despite the fact that it does not get that that boost for having a large hitbox. So you know, just for what it's worth, its coverage is really really good. Definitely one worth investing in if you have to. Double feature for ranked as well. Green yellow capsule did not win this tour. Did not get uh, some of the uh, the buffs you really want. 21 is Doom Tracks, 7 Nitro, 48 tracks left to see. Uh, pairing again with Gold, uh, Pumpkin Card, and Yellow Off-Roader. either And then either the Mark Mark II or the Rombie Runner. And then it does have 8. 8 is a lot. 8 overlaps with the Magna Broom. <clears throat> One that uh, you, you'll see on this list uh, as being a pretty strong card for what it's worth. And then the White Bruiser. Uh, we've seen it being ranked uh, really quite a lot over the last two or three months uh if you've if you've tuned into literally anyone on on uh, on youtube you've seen them invest in and enjoy the white bruiser it's a phenomenal cart uh 21 assumed tracks nine nitro still 43 tracks left to see not bad there came out in the doctor tour 15 15 spots is a lot so it jumped jumped uh pretty substantially from number 19 to number four you gotta love that pairs really well with the armored rider gold pumpkin cart and yellow off-roader covering 90 of the 245 tracks um overlap though the one that you want to be alarmed about is the rombi runner and then the, the flower bad wagon is on there too uh, i'm not too worried about that per se number three on the list the magna broom went at four spots to number three for 25 assumed tracks five nitro 25 assumed tracks is really really good I always have to preface that the brooms handle a little different, so if you can get over that, definitely worth investing in. 25 assumed tracks is a lot. I was looking at its coverage, it's actually, it's a, it, just on paper, it's a really good cart. Um, it's just, really good you, you just have to, You just have to really enjoy the, the style of the cart. Pairs really well with Rombi Runner, Mark II, and the uh, uh, Yellow Off-Roader. A lot of overlap with this uh, this green yellow um, capsule cart. Eight, eight total, uh, seven with the Vampire Flyer. Uh, for what it's worth, but uh, yeah, it's 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 a it's a good card if you want to invest in it. Um, I, yeah, you just have to you just have to want to invest. In it. Who are you trying to convince? You really, guys, you really have to. I mean, it's we I'm talk with about you. It. Brooms suck. We have don't, we don't, have to talk about it every brooms. time because I feel bad because if a new player is tuning in, they're like, "Dude, Magnum Broom, I just got it. it's in my." Just just drive with a broom first before you make any any. Sort yeah, of move. the thing is, if you are a new player, it's it, it's a great ad for your account. I mean, it it, it will just give you so much coverage, you know. Yeah, here's one that uh, I really I really like, but the algorithm made the decision for me uh, two tours ago or so. It's got 17 assumed tracks, five nitro, the shielded speedster. You saw me dress up as a knight last uh, last tour. Still got 117 tracks left to see. This number did uh, fall substantially, but you saw it. It got two great buffs. You, you're not worried about this one bit. Pairs really well with. I think what's unique is that two different pairings gives it 85 of the 245 tracks. One of the pairings, the Armored Rider, Gold Pumpkin Cart, Yellow Off-Roader, one that you've seen quite a lot uh, so far this episode, but then a very unique pairing. Pairs really well with the Tanuki Cart, Jukebox the Buggy, and the Rombi Rider. So uh, good to see that there. And then no cart overlaps with the five times, but again, you know, it's only got 22 total tracks so far. But again, it's all totally out up from here. I'm so ecstatic to see where it goes. Every tour, I'm just like, which track am I gonna get ranked? Which track? Am I going to enjoy using this brand new card on? Absolutely love it at uh, level eight, triple uncapped. Yellow Off-Roader, the card of 2022, 29 assumed tracks, four nitro, 
You gotta love that, man. This is an awesome, awesome card. There's no safer bet, no safer investment in the game right now than the yellow off-road. Probably an investment in the game, period. It's just an awesome, awesome card. Pairs really well with the Rombi Runner, the uh, Gold Pumpkin Cart, and the Armored Rider, covering 93, highest on this list of the 245 tracks. Uh, and this pairing adds 69 of those tracks. Um, I will say, though, this is the one downside, Ancelev. Maybe you want to chime in on this, but um, it does overlap seven times with the Tanuki Cart and seven times with the Chaco Macaroon. Overlaps six times with the Combo Cruiser, Purple Bunny, Cact X, and the Brown Off Rotor. And then to round out the top 15, we have the Red Off Rotor at 11, Cream Cat Cruiser at 12, Cupid's Arrow at 13, a former top 10. The Green Cat Cruiser at 14, and then the Gold Bullet Blaster, surprising number 15. Angela, what's your thoughts on the top 10 carts? Okay, so obviously we have some huge jumps here. Huge. Um, and these are just driven by just the crazy amount of buffs we had this tour. Um, and white, But the one thing I want to preface that with is if you look at um, basically ranks kind of 5 to 15, they're like really tight. There's only four points uh, separating five and 15 so so the green yellow capsule card has a, has a score of 89.31 and gold bullet blaster has a score of um 85.16 so that's, that's all really tight so you can see why uh something like white bruiser jumped up 15 spots um it doesn't take a lot to, to move a lot in that again and getting into like the top uh two i would say is a lot harder um yellow and off-roader and shield speedster are kind of in their own class and there's a bit of a gap six points down to the to the magma broom um and then the carts which all fell down is just it's a brutal tour to not get a buff because there have been so many buffs <laughs> lightning streamliner warrior wagon green yellow capsule cart strawberry soft serve none of them got any buffs um and that's why they went down and additionally warrior wagon got hurt by the update in the track type wagon so i think warrior wagon has like eight rt so it lost even that so that's why you know like, why did it go down seven um yeah that's why um, other than that, uh, I think Gold Bullet Blaster made a, like a, no, that, that just only rose one, sorry, the, the Cream Cat Cruiser uh, went up 24 spots to come into uh, to, um, to spot 12 on the list to break the top 15. But you see a lot of the items here are kind of thematic for um, the Animal Tour. You got the Green Cat Cruiser, you got the Cream Cat Cruiser, you got some off-roaders going on. They all kind of fit in with the jungle animal type of, you know, thing that we got going on. Yeah, no, for sure. Uh, I mean, honestly, this is probably my one of my favorites uh, top 10 cart lists. Uh, I have a lot of these items were ones I've invested in early and they just happened to pan out. I got lucky on some of these, but yeah, I mean, I absolutely love this list. It's a great list. You know, I, I would have liked to have seen some more from, you know, the Lightning Streamliner, um, you know, and, and the Strawberry Straw Sword got off to a really good start. I wonder if it'll drop outside the top 15. Um, yeah. Yeah, overall, I'm, I'm really happy about this list. I absolutely love uh, what the algorithm is doing for, with these cards. That is for sure. Um, oh. Oh, people also ask me where what, what happened to Rambi Runner. Uh, Rambi Runner is number 16, and it missed the top 15 by one one hundredth of a point. It's it's one basis point behind the Gold Bullet Blaster. It went up 23 spots uh, due to its buff, but it just didn't get in. And so, by the way, I'm glad you mentioned that. What I will do is, uh, for these slides, I release them on Reddit, and you'll see in the link in the description where you can find that. I will add all those scores. I've decided I'm just going to put the scores, the raw scores, just in like the in black in like the little corner, just so you have it as a frame of reference. I do think that would really help you. I think it helps. I think it helps give a little bit of context to what we're seeing. Um, I've noticed people have, when I posted it on my server with the scores next to it, people have made a comment. Oh yeah, look at the gap between um, Gold Me Racing Suit and White Tanuki Mara, for example. Um, I will say if there's a cart you've heavily invested in and it's not on this list, that's okay. There are um, so many cards, guys. 263 cards in cool. the game right now. So yeah. even if a card is top 25, it's still in the top 10% of cards. It still has, you know, crazy good value. Um, it, it doesn't, you know, there's just so many cards in the game right now. You, there, you know, there, there, there are a lot of cards are on, on, not on this list that are still worth investing in. Yeah. And we see, we see cards peak uh, sometimes, sometimes very, very quick, sometimes very short. Uh, you know, and you know, sometimes we see things have you know be on the top of the list for maybe one or two months, thinking about like the armored mm -hmm. rider and warrior wagon, and then eventually they drop off. But like that just makes the yellow off roader 
that much more powerful. I cannot, I literally, if you have it in your inventory and you've even thought twice about leveling it up, just do it. It you you will enjoy it. It's still don't be afraid that it's like still an older cart. It's like that and the 8-bit fire flower, just like are these like one of these items to just keep keep on keep on kicking, man. It is phenomenal. See. But anyway, uh, I do see on people on Reddit, they, they'll see like numbers. Uh, this one's three, this one's two. How'd this one go, you know, from two to three, even though it got a ranked buff? And you, it, the raw score will really help. So I will add that just, you know, I think that'll add a lot of good context for you. So nice little fun feature that, uh, that was inspired by the rundown. Here we go into gliders. We got the black cat parafoil uh, up 15 spots, huge jump there. Um, has 26 assume tracks, five nitro, 11 tracks left to see. An older, older, glider that uh it's actually i've been really surprised it's in our top 10 it's just like a Me too. really late bloomer um i don't know what to say about it man it was not on my radar at all i didn't even know when it came out and here it is like having been around for forever um uh, but it pairs really well with uh one of two sets one who includes the wonderful wings the other one uh the dragon wings but it pairs really well with the 8-bit super mushroom and the star great sale covering 93 of 245 tracks that's I feel a like high number. See that top combo a lot. <laughs> yeah, well, you you might have already invested in the eight bit super mushroom. You might have already up yeah. uh, uh, invested in the um, wonderful wing. So again, you know, if it, it, for what it's worth, if you have it on your account, and you're having to pick between some of these cat stuff because it's in, technically an animal tour. I know it's yeah. really like a DK tour without the DK, but um, it is it is. There's a lot of cat stuff going on in this in this tour, and and I do have to preface that with eight. All these cat items, whether they're cat cruisers or cat parafoils or just cat items in general, um, they got to bump this tour where like it, they look a little bit more intriguing. But next tour, it'll be something else and they'll probably drop, fall off. So I don't expect this to be in our top 10 next tour personally. But um, you never know. We've had some good <laughs> a good experience with black items in the past. The Nintendo, for whatever reason, seems to like them. Uh, it does overlap those seven times with the Candlelight Flight. Um, which has been a top glider in, uh, in 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 the meta this year. The Wicked Two Paths down three spots, 22 Zoom tracks, seven Nitro. Still has 48 tracks left to see. Came in that Doctor Tour pairs really well with two 8-bit items, uh, the 8-bit Fire Flower and the 8-bit Super Mushroom, covering 73 of the 245 tracks. The downside, though, guys, uh, Wonderful Wings overlaps six times with you know, and the Wicked Two Paths doesn't have that many tracks quite yet. So to overlap with it six times with the number one card in, uh, glider in the game, that is a little bit alarming. And that's really the the, the one um, Achilles heel to the Wicked Topaz. Number eight, uh, Candlelight Flight. This one has fallen for uh, the last couple tours, but stayed steady at number eight. 27 Assume Tracks. That's a lot of tracks, guys. Plus the Love of Nitro. That's, you know, for these gliders, for whatever reason, they seem to have a lot of coverage. 27 is great. Uh, still nine tracks left to see. Not not too many left there. An interesting pairing with the uh, Bright Balloons. But uh, obviously, the Ape of Fire Flower and the Wonderful Wings pairs really well with a lot of these. Covers nine. This pairing covers 96 of the 245 tracks. That's phenomenal. And there are a lot of gliders, though. I will say a lot of gliders that overlap with it seven times. But when you have this many tracks, that's to be expected. And none of these are really super meta items. I'd say even the best one of these would be the oil paper, um, the Nabbit oil paper umbrella, which again, you know, never never was one that uh, that many people invested in. So yeah, I don't think you're too alarmed by these overlaps by any means. Wick, sorry, Golden Wings down three spots to number seven on our list. 28 assumed track scale of that. 11 Nitro, zero tracks left to see. Uh, certainly a very, very strong glider. Pairs really well. 8-bit Bullet Bill, 8-bit Super Mushroom, and the ship's wheel cover 96 of the 245 tracks. However, the, the biggest overlap, uh, one that you're worried about is the 8-bit Fire Flower. But, guys, it's only six. When you have that many tracks, when you're talking about, geez, n closing in on 40 tracks and you're, you only overlap six times that's not that bad i wouldn't be too worried about it but it is uh just to be just take note of and then of course that black cat parafoil that we just referred to earlier here's one that's uh that stuck out as we saw the black star shoot is not on this list the boom masks is in fact it went up six went up three spots to number six 18 assumed tracks six nitro still have has a whopping 117 tracks left to see uh, I mean, I, I kind of compare this a little bit to the Shielded Speedster, where it's got some really hot value to start and keeps getting better. Pairs really well with the Ape Fire Flower and then either the Glinning Parasol uh, or the Record Setter. 
Those cover 69 of the 245 tracks. The number five on our list did fall down two spots, but uh, the fact that it's been around as long as it has, look at that guys, 31 assumed tracks plus the Love of Nitro. Jeez, 42 tracks to their total. Of course, zero tracks love to see. This thing's been around for forever. Uh, pairs really well with two separate pairings. Um, one with Candlelight Flight, Bright Balloons, and Wonderful Wings. The other being the uh, Dry Bowser Umbrella, Ape Super Mushroom, and the Wonderful Wings. Uh, both of these pairings cover 96 of the 245 tracks. There is some overlap to be uh, aware of, but when you're talking about 42 tracks total, you're not too worried about six overlaps. Uh, Ape Bit Super Mush, or sorry, Ape Bit Bullet Bill, for what it's worth, uh, Golden Wings, um, Springtime Crane, and then this Black Cat Parafoil. Um, so just for what it's worth, uh, be aware of that. But again, you're talking about 42 freaking tracks. That's unbelievable. Uh, I think that's the most in the in the game. Is that correct, Antlev? Um, I have to check because take a look I at that. I don't really pay attention to the, but let, let me look it up for you. Yeah, let's take a look if you don't mind. Piranha Plant Balloons, uh, twenty one assumed DK tracks. Might have more. What's that? DK might have more. DK. Donkey Kong Jr. has uh, forty five tracks. Oh, oh, driver. I thought, uh, yes. Fair enough. You're talking about carts only, or yeah, gliders only? Sorry. Yeah, take a look at okay. gliders if you can. Uh, Piranha Plant Balloons covering gross. 21 of uh, assumed tracks, 5 Nitro, 80 tracks left to see. Pairs really well with uh, either the 8-Bit Super Mushroom, Golden Wings, and 8-Bit Bullet Bill, or the 8-Bit Super Mushroom, Dry Bowser Umbrella, and Wonderful Wings. It does overlap. Yeah, it's the most. It's the most. 42 it's the most. It's the most. 42 for gliders. A most of any glider. Um, glider overlap, though. <clears throat> <it does, clears throat> the Piranha Plant Balloons does not have that many tracks. So... Six is a little bit high in in, uh, in in comparison there. Six at times with the uh, Ape Super One Up Mushroom. Again, these are kind of you know two of the top you know, newer gliders in the game, so it is kind of no um, kind of similar to like the Black Star Shoot and the Boom Masks are kind of coming up next to each other. Similar coverage. Same thing happening with the Prana Plant Balloons and the One Up Mushroom. You may not want to invest in both of them, but still you know these are two awesome gliders. I think it's interesting that um, the Prana Plant Balloons and the Ape One Up Mushroom. Uh, were released in the same tour so this is gives you a kind of idea that items that come out together very often get a lot of overlap i think you're seeing kind of the same thing uh with, with more uh more newer items as well that's i mean it, again it seems to be a new trend here in this new normal that we're still adjusting to um in that same vein we got the 8-bit one-up mushroom 22 assumed tracks six nitro still 80 tracks left to see pairs really well with the fi uh, 8-bit fire flower Dry Bowser Umbrella, and Wonderful Wings, 93 of the 245 tracks. And we already talked about it overlapping, overlapping six times with these uh, Pita Piranha bal Balloons, and then, sorry, Piranha Plant Balloons, and then we have the War Mario's Mustache and Mario Hat as well on that list. Not that, uh, maybe maybe you've invested in those. Green Cat Parafoil, number two, a whopping five spots up, guys. Again, I don't think this is sustainable. Uh, I think it's kind of this cat, little cat experience that we're having with this animal tour. 22 assumed tracks, eight nitro, 64 left tracks left to see. That's still pretty good though. Um, it's got two different pairings, a little bit different from each other. Got the 8-bit Bullet Bill, 8-bit Super Mushroom, and Dry Bowser Umbrella. And then Dragon Wings, 8-bit Super Mushroom, and Star Grade Sail. Cover 93 of the 245 tracks. And then it uh, does have six tracks overlapping with the Vanilla and Chocolate Balloons. And here we go, guys. The number one glider in the game, 29 assumed tracks, 9 nitro, still has 20 tracks left to see. Pairs really well with the 8-bit Fire Flower, Dry Bowser Umbrella, 8-bit Super Mushroom, Fire Flower, uh, Bright Balloons, or Candlelight Flight. Uh, those two different pairings. Covering 96 of the 245 tracks. Uh, it does overlap 8 times, which is a substantial number with the Aurora Balloons and the Record Setter. Guys, I don't really know what else to say about the Wonderful Wings. It's uh, It's been steady number one glider for quite some time. Um, again, you know, I don't know if you want to compare it to the uh, Black um, Black Red Sale of last year, but it's had a phenomenal year. It's been, you know, it's been ranked over and over again. It's been uh, featured in every, every which way. It's an awesome glider. It looks cool too. I don't know what more to say about it other than uh, if you have to invest in it, feel free. Hold down this number one spot for what seems to be weeks on end. And here we go, rounding out the top 15. Black Star Shoot 11, Vanilla Chocolate Balloons at 12, Lava Rocks at 13, Minted Berry Balloons at 14, and Tropical Balloons breaking the top 15 at number 15. And so, what's your thoughts on the top 10 gliders? 
Um, yeah, so, like, for me, the biggest surprise was the Green Cat Parafoil, because it kind of, it was in the lower part of the top ten last tour, and I kind of didn't really pay attention to it, and then it made this jump up to number two. Um, it did get, I, I neglected to mention it, talking about the glider buffs, but it did get um, two ranked buffs. I think that was one of the only gliders in the in the game to get two ranked buffs this tour, so a huge added value for it um so i was just like looking at its tracks 22 tracks which is a respectable amount considering it still has some tracks left to see uh, it's not it's not crazy like wonderful wings or whatever but uh out of its 22 tracks 15 of those are um newer tracks 2022 tracks so it only has seven like old retros basically so this is a case of just having really high quality tracks in its inventory um so it doesn't have you know the the the, the numbers of like you know 25 plus tracks whatever but it just has like you know amazing quality and that's why it's ranked as high as it is um yeah for the rest you know not a lot to talk about the 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 uh, you know stuff from uh number five down to to number 15 that will like it's like relatively tight especially um stuff from from golden wings on down all oh, that's within five points of one another so not a lot of variance there um the lava rocks breaking the top 15 that was a huge jump up 28 and again it got i think three buffs so so a lot of value added there um oh, yeah other than that not really a whole lot to say um about the about the about the glider top 10 i don't think yeah uh as i mentioned green path cat parafoil and the black cat parafoil went up per, both of them pretty substantially i do think yeah. those will dip uh those those are getting this little animal tour fun festive little buffs and, yeah, and it's nice I think so too. we see this every so often where something will kind of catapults into the top 10 because of the theme that's associated with the tour it just i just know that those aren't always sustainable so just put that in the back of your mind <clears throat> and then all of this data is not correct, so, and I already knew that was coming up. Um, we had some change to the data, so here we go. This is uh, kind of, again, it's going to be kind of tough to see, but I'll kind of walk you through it, <clears throat> and I'll fix it before we put it on Reddit. But um, yeah, Tanuki Mario went up 45 spots to 55. Uh, Goomba Me Racing Suit and Dry Bones Me Racing Suit uh, went up there. But TK Jr. S and yes, this is a big one here. Went up uh, 28 spots to number 18, it looks like. Um, that's a big one for Donkey Kong Jr. Yeah. SNES, and that's one of the reasons why we kind of featured him as uh, potentially a good one for you to go into. Uh, Mario King did go up 20 spots to number 30. For cards, he's coming. He's coming. He's, I, I was kind coming. of been pessimistic about Mario King, but he's uh, he's doing better. He he's doing better. <laughs> that's a good way yeah. to put it. Yeah. No, no it, it, I mean it. He could break the top 15. He will not be the number one uh, card in the game. Or, uh, he will never be the number one driver in the game, in my opinion. Uh, and uh, if he is, I will eat a Vegemite sand sandwich. I've already, <laughs> I've already made the bet. Here it is happening on the rundown. All right, uh, okay, I'm, I'm, I'll be right back. I'm meddling with the algorithm. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, yeah, just like did the vampire flyer. Still never going to get over that. All right, we got uh, most improved carts. Uh, the Crimson Hot Rod to go up 55 spots to 67. Um, DK Maximum went up 21 spots. Obviously, that's due to this animal tour. A lot of DK tracks this tour. Red Crawley carts did go up 51 uh, to 58. I don't think that's sustainable, though, either. Um, Black Carriage, uh, Red Vampire Flyer. This is the one we kind of talked about earlier, up 39 spots to number eight. That's a huge jump. And I think that that's a really good cart to invest in early. Again, it, it's rarely rare that you can kind of uh, confidently invest in something early. But I will, I will put my neck out there. The Red Vampire Flyer, strong, strong card to invest in early. Um, we got most approved gliders. Uh, I'd say the Silver Candlelight Flight, we talked about that getting the five buffs. Went at 48 spots to 27. That's a really good early start for the Silver Candlelight Flight. So if you have to invest in it, you know, uh, we usually we see one of a family do really, really well. Who knows? Maybe we see two. I can see this one break in the top 10 eventually. Cream Toe Bee Balloons up 29 spots to number 16. Lava Rocks, we already talked about that, up 28 spots to 13. Um, Luigi's hat on there, uh, Cat Parafoil. That's about all I'm going to talk about. Um, do, I, I, because we have this up here, we don't mind talking about some of the, the most downgraded drivers, see if there's anything that kind of sticks out here. Uh, King Boom Racing Suit we went down four, 17 spots to 45. I know that's one we invested in. We might see a change with that with the the, the me boost that we might do here coming up soon. Um, Peach Happy, look at her. Down 14 spots to 61. I don't like to take a negative uh, discussion here, but Peach Happy... Unfortunately, she she is she is long gone. Um, 
Most downgraded carts, uh, the biggest drop here was the Pink Dozer. Sad to see yeah, that. Yeah, and that's probably because of the RT uh, change, because Pink Dozer has like almost all RTs. I mean, the next one was 13 spots down, so to see 42 yeah. spots, that's that's a huge drop there. Obviously, the, yeah. the Pink Dozer has only RTs uh, or, or T-Tracks. It is yeah. it is only at uh, those. That's kind of the, the fun thing about the Dozers. <clears throat> but also one of the reasons why I liked a Dozer with a Jump Boost Plus, and one of the reasons why I really like that cart. Um, Jump Boost Plus obviously getting a nice little, uh, nice to have on Trick Tracks when that's all it has. Um, most downgraded gliders, the origami glider down uh, 20 spots to 43. Green Spout, uh, RIP to the G GSG, um, 19 spots down there to 41. Nothing else really substantial going to refer to. I will say this 8-bit Super Mushroom, you really love that. It was one of your favorite gliders down 18 spots to 37. Yeah, it's just it again. It's it's a brutal tour not to get buffs. So you know, if you didn't get buffs this tour, you're you're struggling. Uh, there's a lot of good gliders on that downgraded list, but yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay, you do nothing you can do about it. Uh, let's talk about ranked. Uh, kind of wanted. I kind of wanted to show you, there's only two tracks that really have uh, some rank stuff. There's some level eight stuff on, on some of the newer tracks, but I just want to kind of highlight these because the end of the jungle, there's n you're going to have a top shelf. I can guarantee that. If you don't have a top shelf, you, you literally just started playing the game yesterday. Um, but there's a lot of options, a lot of unlocks at different levels. So, Santa Bowser is going to be what the majority of the community is using. <clears throat> he unlocks a level three. That's re that's really the one I'd, I I think most people are going to want to use. Morton at level six, uh, worth noting. Um, as for carts for Dino Dino Jungle RT, um, I say this Gold Rombie Rider. Good to know that that unlocks the level six. Again, you're not struggling that much, but uh, that's the big one. And then Pipe Buggy. This was actually a, a pretty strong one to take note of because it is a normal. So you might even think about quad capping this normal Pipe Buggy being a pretty strong option at level six. Um, and then neither of the options for gliders. I think the blue fi flower glider, if you want, you probably have it at level three or higher. Um, you may not even have known that that unlocked all up, but there you go. I think that's I'm actually one. using that. My main account Are you? CR, I've seen yeah. some banana. I've seen some banana gliders in, in some of my friends list as well. Yeah, banana gliders on there too. Yeah. yeah. Because I mean, a quad cap that might be better than a, you know, a level seven, 595, you know, dragon yep. wings or something like that. Yeah. So Good to know that there. And then for next week, we got Chaco Mountain RT. Um, Luigi Chef and Cat Rosalina both unlocked at level six. Um, Gold Rumby Runner, the brand new car, it's level three unlocked there. But I think Yellow Off-Roader is going to be the probably what 95% of the community is going to be using next week. Camo Tanuki carts unlock at level six. Good. Gold Bull Bl Blaster at level six. Gray Cat Cruiser at level six, Lunar Cruiser at level six, and Wild Pink at level. Yeah, I'm sorry, Lunar Cruiser and Wild Pink both at level eight. And then for the gliders, we got Lava Rocks at level three. You caught a ribbon at level three, Black Cat Barfo at level six, and then Gold Penguin Wingtip. For some reason, if you have that at level eight, so you can use that. Uh, I think I think this is a unique track that we have. Uh, that we, I think a lot of people aren't really talking about because we have. We have you know four new tracks in the rank between the two weeks. Um, obviously, Dino Dino Jungle and Chaco Mountain free tracks. Uh, tracks were very easy to get to 200 actions. <clears throat> I got my Dino G Dino Dino Jungle run while I was at the gym in between sets yesterday. 205 actions. It was super simple. Um, multiple use though. We got the the uh, Kinsune Luigi three times. Uh, obviously for good reason. Level three unlock and level six unlock. We got baby Mario Koala, cat Mario, charging Chuck Gold. <coughs> if you need to level up charging Chuck Gold, number one driver in the game, you can use him twice. Don't need to unlock anything. Uh, if you need a, if you need a, um, a, a lazy man's uh, version of that, you can also use DK Jr. SNES. He's used two times. Gumba Me Racing Suit, Tanuki Mario, Cat Rosalina, and Moo Moo Racing Suit used two times. The uh, last two with uh, level um, six unlock and level three unlock, respectively. Then for carts, this Gold Rombie Runner used three times. So if you got it and you want to level it up and use it in ranked, thanks to that uh, level three unlock and level six unlock, used three times. That's awesome there. DK Maxim, nice to see some DK stuff in this non DK DK tour. Um, Jade Hoprod used twice. Moo Moo Rough Rotor uh, for you and to love. Gotta love that. Rummy Runner. 
Tanuki Kart, Tiger Bruiser, Tropical Truck, Camo Tanuki Kart, uh, Gold Bullet Blaster, Gray Cat Cruiser, and then Yellow Off-Roader all can use, be used twice. Um, and then for gliders, to Black Toe Beam Balloons, surprising use three times, nothing unlocked, just uh, just three times against this Animal Tour. You're getting some, uh, some Toe Beans in there. Got the brand new Calico Toe Beam Balloons twice, Cat Parafoil twice, Green Pad Parafoil twice, Black Cat Parafoil twice. So there's four, five uh, cat related items that you can use at least two times in ranked. So again, yeah, it's kind of this uh, animal tour feature here. Autumn leaves twice, uh, thanks to this level eight unlocked and then lava rocks you can use twice as well. Um, and then rounding out for all cup ranking, I'll kind of uh, let you chime in here as well. Surprisingly, I was, I was shocked to see this. PD Piranha Me Racing Suit used 11 times. Uh, all 10 just used like straight up as he is. There is one level eight unlocked, but uh, use 11 time for all cup rank here. Are you, got, are you leaning on this PD Piranha Me Racing Suit? Have you thought about it? You're on mute if you are. Sorry, yeah, no, I am. I'm investing, uh, maxing it out. Um, wow. The crazy thing is, it only has 16 tracks so that's you know 10 <laughs> of its um it's used 11 times uh, so well, it's slide baby park it's got uh some of the yeah. new tracks too yeah um yeah it's it's crazy i mean I, it's just a perfect you know a confluence of events to make it the you know you would never expect a track with only 16 total tracks to have 11 appearances in all cup ranking but that's what it is um another thing about this tour is we don't have any double tracks only the double <laughs> horses are in there twice usually the new tracks we have twice this tour it's not the case that's why you don't have any eye popping numbers where they're just like an item with like 13 14 15 appearances in acr because we don't have those double tracks and we don't have the spotlight boost anymore yeah, and um, in fact, uh, I was actually looking at the uh, PD Piranha Me Racing suit in uh, the, the the shop, the Me shop, and mm -hmm. so um, yeah, actually, I invested in it as well. I'm kind of following suit. I don't know if you can see that. There's my PD Piranha suit, level seven, nice, fifteen, ten. Nice. So, man, I, I'm loving it. You know, it's, it didn't get like a crazy buff. It's not like breaking the meta. It's in the twenties on our all cup ranking. But being a Me Racing suit. And, and like, especially the tracks I was struggling on have been these baby parks, um, have been even the Prana Plant slides. I don't know, for me, it did a lot for my account. Uh, and the fact that it was like in my spotlight shop and and uh, and I could load up on it and I, I don't know, man, there's something about it that it, like, I'm really getting into the me vibe. I got the King Boo Mayor Racing suit, the P Piranha suit, got my, my, uh, my coin boxers. I don't know. I don't know, man. I'm excited about uh, to see what the algorithm and how that shows the me's if we do move it to that 15%. Uh, or 15 point boost. But we do have Cat Luigi, Petey Piranha, and Kinsune uh, Luigi all used 10 times. Donkey Kong Jr. Yes and Yes, nine times. Charging Chuck, nine. Birdo White, nine. Then we got uh, Bowser's Me Racing Suit, Daisy Farmer, Mario Aviator, and Peach Explorer used eight times. I know how much Kareem loves the Mario A Aviator. Then we have uh, for cards. <laughs> He, he got him like 18 yeah, times. Yeah, no, I know. I, I, I'm not, that's why I'm laughing. It's ridiculous. <laughs> it was the King, Mar the King Mario curse. Um, yeah. As for the carts, we have one cart that's used 11 times. That is the Green Cat Cruiser. We have two carts used 10 times. That's the Gray Cat Cruiser and the Moo Moo Off-Roader. That's one, probably one of the reasons why you took that thing all the way up the way you did. Yep. Goo Goo Pink <laughs> and uh, Warrior Wagon, Black Turbo Birdo, and Cat camo tanuki cart used nine times then lightning streamliner surprised to see lightning streamliner on there without uh, as many buffs i think it's probably one of the reasons why it didn't get very many buffs this tour a lot of these tracks you know were released at a similar uh time around when it was getting so many buffs things like yeah. baby park things like um you know prompt plant slide etc so it's probably why it didn't get as many buffs but still doing a have, has a really good strong presence in the all cup ranking used eight times rummy runner eight times Watermelon Cart, Dragonfly, Star Room, and Golden Rami Runner all used eight times. And then for the gliders, guys, a lot of cat items. We see the cat, cat, uh, green cat parafoil 11 times. Most of any glider here. Black cat parafoil, sky high flyer, autumn leaves, and calico toby and balloons used 10 times. Black star shoot surprisingly using nine times. Kind of a similar uh, reason as the lightning streamliner. <clears throat> Wonderful wings, nine times, cat powerful, eight and green sprout eight times. So 
And Celeb, anything else you want to add about all cup ranking, about <clears throat> your experience or uh, what someone would expect? I, I will say, it, it seems to be really competitive. It seems like a lot of people it's are going to be really it. competitive. I think, I think, I think the projections <clears throat> that came out are, are low. And I would say if you can't beat those projections by like 10, by like maybe 50 to 100K, I would say then maybe think twice about going for it. It, it, it. I just think a lot of people are going for it because it's a, such a great tour for ACR, so it's going to be hard. Yeah, I mean, we're, it's, what's interesting about it, we kind of already talked about 24 out of the 45 tracks, ha the action count ceiling, at least from my account. Uh, again, I have a lot of coin boxers. I have a lot of, you know, I have some boomerang drivers, but most of them are coin box drivers. I stick pretty heavy to that. 24 of the 45 tracks have 205. So at least five free actions. That's a lot. Uh, don't normally see that. It's a lot of that's because of the Dino Dino Jungle, Rock Rock Mountain, you know, Ch Chaco Mountain, um, all these uh, big, big tracks here. And then um, I will say for, for what it's worth, a lot of people are, uh, are have already invested in things like Meowser, have already invested in some of these meta items, Yellow Off-Roader obviously being on the top of that list. Um, and then on top of that, just to, to warn people who are not in the United States, uh, this upcoming week, a lot of people have a four day, a five day weekend with Thanksgiving. So just to warn you, like everyone's off Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, in addition to Saturday and Sunday. So you're going to see a huge jump late just from the people in the United States. And uh, it's an awesome tour to do it. It's such a fun, fun tour. So I think the projections, um, I just was looking it up uh, from our good friend Rashid. He makes these... Uh, um these announcements here and for some reason i'm having a hard time pulling it up but i think for let's see here i want to make sure to give people the number duh yeah so for top 100 cutoff i think you saw a pretty pretty big jump from day three. Oh, you know what? i don't see the number oh well um I think it's like something like 2.2 million for top 100 or something ridiculous. So could be, could be. It's gonna be redonkulous. But either way, yeah, you're redonkulous right from the DK tour. All right, guys, there we go for uh, another episode of the rundown. This was a lot of fun, a very positive tour. I'm really excited uh, about this yeah. tour, man. It was a relief to have a tour like this after oh, the kind of you know medium tours we had, the mid tours we had recently. It's uh, we went through quite a drought, but I think I, I I just think the hype around this tour is is at an all time high. It'll be interesting to see how they come out of this tour into next tour. But uh, yeah, enjoy these wonderful tracks. Anything else you want to say, Antelev? Again, this was a fun episode. I'm glad you're able to join us. Thank you for your patience as we're uh, giving this to you on a Sunday. Uh, but anything you want to say in your parting words to your fans? No, nope. nope, all good. Thanks. Thanks for your patience, guys. Uh, thanks for joining us for another episode of The Rundown. We'll see you hopefully on Car Talk. It should be an interesting discussion. Obviously, a lot to, to, to break down with you guys. But until next time, may the frenzy luck be with you. See you guys.